Start. Tim. Hello again, this is BGFH. Welcome back. And we're going to take another look at iOS accessibility here. In the last video, we took a look at the last couple of videos, we took a look at the overall accessibility features that are in iOS itself. And then I showed you some of the low vision features, like the pinch to zoom gesture that some apps use, and the overall zoom app, or the zoom feature that'll magnify everything. Although I wasn't able to really show that to you um, on the video directly. Double so today we're going to start looking at voiceover. So remember in the first video when I was talking about the overall accessibility, most or, yeah, I would say most Apple devices should have the triple click home gesture enabled. So when you take it out of the box, you turn the device on, you hit that home button right at the bottom of your screen there, the only physical button on the front of the device, you hit that home button, click, 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 or tap, 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 whatever, um, you hit that three times, turns voiceover on, hit it three more times, turns voiceover back off. Um, so when you get to that, to that initial setup, you should theoretically be able to do that independently. However, like I said in the other video, there's some cases, like I've seen where you get a phone from a certain carrier, or you get a device from like a certain manufacturer, whatever, or from a store, Sometimes that is turned off and you will need sighted assistance for the initial setup. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of very basic gestures that should hopefully get you through the initial setup phase and just kind of basic gestures that should kind of get you going. And we're just going to build on that as we go here, um, build more gestures in. So I have voiceover running. I'm on the home screen right now. One of my home screens, actually. And I've got a whole bunch of items here, folders, icons, whatever. So the main home screen I've got, like on the iPhone 5, I've got five rows. And then on the bottom, I have my dock. On the, do the dock is items that are going to be on every home screen. I just want them there all the time because I use them most often. And you're just going to have four items there. We'll get more into that later. Um... So, basic gestures. So, when you turn on the device um, and you turn voiceover on, if it works, um, if it hasn't been disabled, um, and when you use voiceover in general, there are a few different ways that you can get around the screen. So, what you can do is I can take my finger, touch the screen, and then just slide it around. Music folder, movies folder, 11 apps, travel folder. 10 apps. Navigation fo reference folder. 10 apps. x rack Phone. Mail. Safari. Settings. So I'm just Double sliding my open. finger, and whatever is under my finger will be spoken aloud. I'm going to do that one more time and show you one other thing. So financial folder. Moves. Page 2. Oop. I don't know how well that came up on camera, but you may have heard a ding, 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 kind of a little weird beeping sound. That tells you that there is nothing under your finger. It's just empty space, white space, whatever you want to call it. And then when I get to something where there is something under my finger, it will be spoken automa You know, it will be spoken right away. So it's just that little bing, little bing noise tells you nothing under your finger. Um, the other thing that I can do as a low vision user in the, in the low vision video I just uh, recorded is I use voiceover as kind of a cheat because I have some vision I can see that there are icons on the screen I can see the web page but I just can't read any of it so I can uh, just touch one of these icons phone double tap to open okay that's in the bottom left corner let's say that I want to know what is the third item on the second row Podcast folder. Four apps. Podcast Double folder. Tap to open. How about the second item on the fourth row? Social folder. 32 new items. Six apps. Okay. Double tap to so open. So you get the idea. If there's something, if I can see the screen, I can directly point at something that I see but can't read and just identify what it is. 
the other thing, the other way that you can use, that you can navigate the screen, is I'm going to start at the top corner here, the top icon. Blindness folder. 14 apps. I have the blindness folder here. And I let's say I want to go through, I, I've never seen this screen before. I don't know how complicated it is. I don't know what's there, but I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. So I'm going to take one finger and I'm going to flick left and right. And by flick, I just mean, like I said, take one finger, touch it on the screen, and just kind of just quickly move left or right. Kind of like you're brushing, you know, you're flicking something off of your shirt or your pants leg or something. So I'm going to flick to the right. Low vision folder, six apps. Books folder, 11 apps. Productivity folder, six new items. Music folder, 11 apps. Flick to the left. Do productivity folder, six new items. Books folder, Ele low vision folder, blindness folder. 14 apps. And we're bl back to Double our blindness to folder. If I flick left again, tells me we're at the top of the home screen. If I touch down, let's say I'm going to touch down in the bottom right corner. Settings. Settings Double is the last item. If I flick right again, I get my little tone saying, nope, that's it. Um, so that's a way that you can navigate a screen and make sure that you don't skip anything. I also use it, especially on like emails or web pages or pages like that that are very complicated and that are very tiny. Let's say, you know, I looked at that state fair page and everything is super tiny. It's kind of hard to get my, you know, if you're zoomed out that far, it's kind of hard to get your finger on an exact tiny link. So I might get in the general vicinity and then just start flicking and then get to the item that I'm actually trying to hit. So that can be another technique I can you can use. Before I wrap up this basic video, a couple other things I want to cover um, that you're going to need to know, uh, especially on the, uh, the getting started or set up screens. How do you activate an item? So far we've just touched and looked at them. Phone, mail, safari, settings. So if I want to open, tap to open, I'm going to do that one more time. Settings. Double tap to open. Settings. Double tap to open. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to tap the screen twice quickly. Settings. There we go. So double tap with one finger will use or activate or interact with that item, whether it's a button, a web page link, selecting an email from your email list, whatever, opening a folder, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and the nice thing is that I do want to bring to your attention is that if I go back to the home screen, Blindness let's say, folder. 14 apps, settings. Okay, tap to open. I touch the settings icon. Now, because the settings icon is highlighted, I do not have to keep my finger in that same place. Um, I do not have to double tap exactly where that settings button is. As a matter of fact, as long as that item is selected, I can double tap anywhere I want on the screen. As long as I double tap quickly, I'm going to double tap right in the middle of the screen. Boom. Settings. And there we go. We're into our settings. So. You go to a next button, a done button, you want to choose something from a list, uh, any kind of Blindness folder. basic any kind of basic interaction, opening something, hitting a button, that kind of thing, that is how you're going to be able to do that, <coughs> is the double tap. One thing I do really quickly want to show you, um, how are we doing on time? x Okay, we got a little bit more time. Um... Double tap to open. Hush. Now, when you're doing the setup screen, um, there may be a couple places where you do have to enter text. And one of the things that really initially annoyed me about how the iPhone is a really or, or originally set up is how the on-screen keyboard works. I'm going to hit the home button, which okay. is going to take me Let's to my start. first home one screen. I'm going to hit the Double home button one open. more time. Search field. Is editing. And I'll explain this so more, simple. hush, I'm going to explain this more in a future video when I start talking more about the home screen and where things are on the device, but I'm on a, I believe it's called the Spotlight Search, and this is just a screen where I can type in a search for something that's on my device. It could be an email message, it could be an app, 
whatever, uh, I could start doing a search for it. So you notice on the bottom, oh, third of the screen or so, I've got this on-screen keyboard. And the way that the keyboard works by default is it works just like we did on the home screen. I move, I slide my finger across the keyboard and I find the letter. So I was, if I was looking for the letter J, I would find the J. I would stop and then I would have to double tap the J. Find the E, double tap the E, and keep doing it until I found the, the name, until I typed the name Jesse, for instance. Um, however, when you're, you know, that works fine for icons and things, but for keyboard, it's really kind of, I know a few people that do like it that way, um, <clears throat> but I find it really clunky, um, and not quite as efficient. So there's another mode called touch typing, which is what I much prefer. And to do this, what you have to do um, is I'm going to move my finger, I'm going to slide my finger over Empty list. this blank area. Search field is editing. Character mode. Okay. Search iPhone. I'm on the search field. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two fingers, like my thumb and my index finger, or my middle finger and my index finger, and I'm going to make a kind of like a what they call a rotor gesture, a rotor. And that means I'm taking two fingers and it's like I'm turning a dial. You know, turning, you know, turning up the volume knob on a radio. Language. Typing mode. Okay. So I can do it to the left or to the right. Language. And this gesture does take some practice getting used to. I know right away it was one of the tough ones that I had trouble with at first as well. Typing mode. So I'm going to go to typing mode. And I'm going to then flick up and down this time to choose from my cho to make my choice. So I'm going to go down. Standard typing. Standard typing. That's what I was using before, uh, or what would be activated on your phone by default. So if I do capital B, capital B, capital B. In order to type it, I have to double tap. Capital B. Okay. Top search result. Do a backspace. I don't like that. That's clunky. So I'm going to flick down again. Touch typing. Touch typing. This is what I much prefer, and a lot of users prefer. Now that I'm on that mode, I'm going to do my rotor gesture to get away from typing mode so I don't accidentally change it again on myself. Language. Characters. And I'll explain more of this in one of the next couple of videos, don't worry. So you don't have to worry about that too much yet. So now what touch typing does is I slide my finger around the keyboard again, but when I lift, when I let go, it actually types the letter that I want. So if I were to say that, you know, Jesse that I did again, I'm just gonna slide my finger. Capital 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 H. Capital J. Capital J R. Top search is B. E, S, F, top S, F, top D, E, top E. And as top you're, hush, as I'm typing, you notice that it's coming up with search results that I can then take my finger. Mail, not notes. Jesse Anderson, this is just a quick demo of using mail. National Football League, friendly. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Anderson, um, I'm just going to hit home. home. So, to me, it's a lot faster because what I can... You know, I can just slide my finger, and as soon as I let go, boom, I can type. Um, you know, I don't have to double tap and accidentally touch something else and whatever. So it's really up to you whether you want to stick to the um, standard typing or <coughs> switch to touch typing. Most people I know really like the touch typing, but that is how you um, how you use the keyboard to kind of get started. And I will go through more of the keyboard and I will go through especially the rotor stuff in in more detail when we get into using voiceover with different apps. So um, that's really going to do it for this video. Until next time, I will talk to you guys again soon. Stop.